What's up, everybody? Thani here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, today we're jamming on how to catch mangrove crabs for sheepshead fishing. I'm also going to show you guys where to find mussels. Those work just as good as uh, mangrove crabs. Well, I shouldn't say just as good because sometimes those mussels they're they're hard to uh, to hook. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to catch mangrove crabs, where to look for them. Let's get to it. So when you're looking for mangrove tree crabs, obviously you want to look near the mangroves. They'll be under rocks. Sometimes they'll be on top of these branches here, these mangrove trees. You just got to look for them. Look, there's one right there. Let's see if I can't get them. Oh, he jumped. Man, these guys are quick. That's one thing you guys got to know. You guys got to be quick about it. When you guys see one, when you see one, you just it's got to be quick and, and go for it. There's one right over there, guys. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's right there. Tiny guy. Oh, he went on the other side of the branch. Let's see if I can't get him. Oh, got him. <laughs> That's it right there, man. He's little, they get bigger than that. And these are good baits, man. I If you guys have not used these for sheep's head, even mangrove snapper, mangrove snapper will eat that too. Good baits and they're free. <laughs> In the bucket he goes. Look, there's one right here. Got him. That's good bait right there. That's how you do it, man. Just gotta be quick, that's all. That's a big one right there, man. I know you guys can see him right there. Look at that. Let's see if I can't get him. It's gonna be challenging. He's kind of far. Oh, missed him. Oh, there's another one right here. He didn't see me. I'm gonna get him for sure. Got him. I got him, man. Look at that. Ooh. Pinched me a little bit. But there it is. You guys can come out here or anywhere really where there's mangrove trees. Just look around. Just got to scope around for them and um, just scoop them up. It's so awkward, man, carrying this big old camera around. Every time I pass by people, they always stare. But I'm doing it for you guys. Another good method is to flip these rocks up here near the mangroves. Let me see if I can find a flushed rock to flip because that's where the, the crabs are going to be under. Look at that. Okay, this one there. Oh. I'm not sure exactly what these are called. If you guys know what these crabs are called, let me know in the comment section down below. These are not the uh, the mangrove crabs that I usually get, but these will work just as good, man. It's all about coming out here and finding your own bait. For me at least, I don't know man, I like coming out here and finding my own bait. It's fun. Oh look at that, look at him. There it is. Oh no, they're fast. These guys are fast too. It's a good size bait right there. Let's see if there's any underneath this one here. Nope. Oh look at that. Damn, look at that one. That's a big one. That's a big one right here. Big one. Got him. Oh yeah. It's a good size bait right there, man. So those crabs are going to be underneath rocks like this one here. Where there's a little bit dry. See, look at them. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Got two that time. Two. Free baits, man. Can't beat it. And they work. They work good. Oh, he's pinching me. 
Let go, buddy. There's one right there, man. You guys see that? Right there. Let's see if I can't get it. There it is. It's a good bait, man. I think there's another one underneath here. Look, all oh, two of them. Got him. Look, there's one right there. There's another one. Got him. Look at that rock right there, man. That one there. That's gonna hold a lot of crabs. You watch. Let's flip it real quick. If I can flip it with one hand, and the other hand holding the camera, let's see. Watch this, guys. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They're all over. Look at them. Look at this one. It's a big one right there, man. God. Nice. Free bait, man. Make sure you look thoroughly because these crabs, they'll, they'll blend in with these grass and whatnot down here. Make sure you flip that rock back so next time you come here, they'll be underneath this rock again. So just flip it back like that. See these stuff here? These are called mussels and they'll work just as good as crabs. And these are for the guys that can't catch the crabs. You just come out here, pick these up like that. You can twist, turn it. Just twist it and then just pull it. Just pull it like that. Real easy, guys. Can't beat free bait, man. These will work. Look at this one, this one, that one's big, you don't, I mean that's, I think that's way too big right there, that, that there is good right there. They're all over here man, they're easy to get, can't beat it. Check out how many crabs I got. It's a good amount, got those within 20 minutes or so, not bad huh? I just want to show you guys the rod and reel combo that I'm using and the hooks and the leader. So I'm using a 7.6 medium action rod. It's a 6 to 12 Cousins rod. I have it paired up with the Shimano Sustain 3000. Uh, 10 pound braid and 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. Yozuri HD Carbon. And for the hooks, I'm using the Mustad Live Bait O'Shaughnessy Short Shank Size 1. That right there is the ticket, man. Pretty stout hooks there. Um, they hold up, they don't bend. So, good stuff. All right, guys, that's a wrap for me. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that bell notification, smash that subscribe button if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.